Is Skirt Ritual harder than Call of Duty Zombies? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Now, this is the hardest difficulty in the game called Nightmare Mode. It basically says for those brave enough to focus on survival skills, enemy health, damage, and movement speeds will be increased. Time between rounds decrease, increased cost of items, increased profile experience points. Standard enemies will receive special abilities, bosses have extra abilities, and life tokens are unavailable to purchase. To sum this all up, it basically means this is extremely hard and you should only play this if you're a pro zombie player. So with that all said let's jump into this game and let's see what we're getting ourselves into this is also my first time playing this map i'm playing sewers of the dead which is the third one in this game now there was no actual way to try and measure you know one average cod player like rounds that we get into so i feel like just the way to like measure this game for myself is i'm just gonna play it and just see for myself how difficult this is yeah, zombies are already moving quite quickly and they're already th yeah they said they zombies have special abilities oh okay so as you can see i still have a life token on me so that's still available but it said i can't purchase anymore so if i do go down i can still stay alive but it's only when that runs out i can't buy anymore okay so where are we now okay so there's more weapons so i could probably buy a gun here that might be my next investment mainly because oh there's also a perk and the zombies are killing each other. <laughs> so I think that's the goal. I think I should buy a weapon and then buy a perk just to get ourselves all set up. Okay, so how much is this gun anyway? 1800 for an MP. Oh, got a crossbow. I don't know if I should buy that. I don't even have enough money. What's this as well? Oh, that's a life token. Okay, so that is not a perk. I thought that would have been like a increased rate of fire or something, but no, it's just a life token. Oh, here we go. Half price. Oh, so I can probably buy a gun right now. Just try and quickly kill these zombies. Uh, I'll get the MP. And we actually have a gun. I'm basically just gonna try and train in here for now. And then once we get enough points, we'll move out. Oh, invisible zombies as well. Yeah, so as you can see, the zombies are a lot faster than normal. I'm gonna get myself trapped, maybe not. I think my goal is to basically try and complete the Easter egg, but I think realistically, my goal is just to get to round 10. <laughs> so we go to the sewer, try not to get hit. Where do we go now? There's a cat statue. Do I do anything with that? No. And there's also a perk here. Also, oh, I don't have enough for this. What? I'll try and run around, see if I can try and see what this is. It's probably going to be like increased rate of fire. Increases health by 33%. I might actually buy that. How many points? 3,000. You know what? Screw Pack-A-Punch. We will keep training. And once I can get to 3,000, we'll buy that. I think what also makes this a lot harder than COD is the zombies have special abilities. So you do get kind of like mini bosses in each Call of Duty game, but like these guys are invisible. They throw fire at you. It just makes this game on a whole different level than what we've seen before. The fire zombie, if you kill him, he basically takes out everyone. So I have to try my best to like not shoot him at all. Oh no, he just kills everyone already. I didn't even do it. Oh, it's safeguard. I think if I had that activated, everyone all dies. Okay, so we're on round six, so we probably could make it to round 10. Okay, so stranger's still summoned. I don't know where this guy is. Oh wait, unless it's this dude. Oh, that's the boss. Okay, and he's got a lot of rats as well. Hopefully they don't kill me or hurt me at all. He also shoots lasers. Oh, interesting. So I'm only on half health already. He's got a lot of health. Uh, wait, I have enough to buy my health regeneration. I should probably go over there and buy that. So go up here, stab myself, and then try not to get stuck here. Where do I go now? Probably go up this area. Oh, I'm gonna get, it's a dead end, isn't it? Oh no, it's an open area. Nice. Okay, this is now a dead end. I just don't know where the stranger is. That's the scariest part. He's probably despawned. Oh no, he's there. He's taking his time. I can try and kill him. Oh, just the rats though. I think the plan now is to also buy Pack-A-Punch. Because I'm going to run out of ammo trying to kill him. Just run over here. So we're on round six. We're doing well. Are you going to run up here? Try and take him out. So where do you go? Did he despawn? Oh, he died. I didn't even have to do anything. I think the blaze slinger just literally killed him. Okay. Yeah, it's going to take a while for me to get this all set up. So why don't we just keep training down here? And then eventually... It's just so many zombies. Oh, no, I don't have a lot of ammo. I keep forgetting. I think I can go downstairs, actually. We're going to try and just... Go down here, buy ammo. So now we're training at spawn. I'll buy this. Did it, it didn't even let me buy it. I was holding F on it. I don't want to die here. Come on, let's buy this. Press F. There we go. Now we've got ammo. Maybe I jump through a Mozotov. Why did that lose a lot of health? Wait, is this insta kill? Sudden death. Wait. What? I don't know what was hitting me. Okay, I'm going to reincarnate myself. I don't know. I was just constantly getting electrocuted. I have sudden death done. Yeah, I'm just going to spam my weapon. That's insane. Oh, I'm gonna get stuck again. Okay, I'm gonna run up. 
I I just die. I don't even know what killed me. I'm just constantly getting electric. I'm gonna try again. We survived 13 minutes. We didn't even get to round 10. I'm gonna try it again. One more chance. I feel like what killed me was just my low ammo. I should have just bought the ammo and just ran away. I feel like that would have been a better spot, but I feel like this is, yeah, a lot harder than COD. That's my takeaway from the first game, but maybe the second one could change my opinion. Maybe I'm just bad at the game. Let's see. I think another problem I had was I didn't heal myself. If you press E, I think that gives you more health. So I should have done that. That was my fault. I just thought because having the perks on giving me extra health in the first place, I didn't have to do that. But constantly getting electrocuted. Yeah, that might have been the case. Why did the stranger spawn now? What is... Okay, already on the third round, the boss just spawns. That is good to see. Um, okay, I got a pistol, man. I don't know if I can take you out. <laughs> Why did the boss spawn this early when you're on this mode? That's so weird. Okay, I was going to say I would probably stay in the spawn room for at least round, like maybe round six, and then eventually move up because I didn't think the boss would spawn this early. But no, he does. It doesn't matter how far you progress into this game. He's always going to show up. So what sucks is he doesn't even give you a lot of points if you kill them anyway just all these rats that's causing the most amount of damage okay here we go oh my ammo nice okay oh no he does give me points actually i thought it was like once you kill him he gives you nothing but no we got max ammo from that and also a couple more points okay let's press f let's eliminate the demon hags where are they is it this oh those are the demon hags oh i'm gonna get myself stuck again let me run past run over here try not to die Kill them. Okay, so now I gotta acquire the plague weapon. What is that? Oh, here we go. Another weapon. So it's a pistol. Oh, 2000. I don't even have enough for this. I will eventually buy it. <laughs> you know what? We'll, we'll kill the zombie, go back to the training spot, get enough points. Everything in this game is points. Or we could train here, because if I get another half price, I could buy it. So maybe it's better to stand in this area. But the only concern, this might be too small of an area to train, but we'll see. Okay, so now there's electricity zombies. Maybe. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Come on, come on. Ooh, just survived. So I'm on the top down. <laughs> they all go flying. Yeah, it's probably not a best place to stay here. Safeguard. That might help me out. I don't know what it does, actually. Oh, crap. Don't get stuck. I'm going to run back. I think that's the plan. I don't know how I'm still staying alive. That's the weird part. I think that the enemies have a certain range. So once they are in like one motion to attack you, they can't really do anything else until they finish their motion. Whereas I think with Call of Duty, the zombies just constantly whack you, which is different. So maybe this might be a little bit easier. Once you just get your perks and your pack a punch, you should be set for this game. But, you know, the test is to see if I can actually get past round 10. Okay, so there's one zombie left. I'm going to go back and see if I can actually buy the pistol now, the plague weapon, because I should have enough points. So if we go over here, how much is this? 2,400. All right, there we go. So what does this weapon do? Let's test it out. Oh, it one shots them. Nice. So maybe this weapon allows me to shoot this. There we go, so that works. Use the plague to destroy the shelled pods to access... Okay, so we are in the radio tower. How do we turn the radio tower on? Oh, I gotta somehow get downstairs. So shoot this. Miss it. There we go, so that now opens up. Avoid this guy, run downstairs here, and then... Oh, I see it now. So it's just clear the rat's nest. Shoot that. Get my other gun out. And then we're just gonna keep doing that around the map here. I think I shot all the pods. Oh no, there's one up here. And he's... How did the guy die? It's so annoying in this game, how like the zombies just get killed. Okay, I'm gonna somehow try and run back. Wait, can we buy this door? No. Okay, I don't wanna get trapped here. I'm gonna get trapped here. <laughs> We're gonna train somehow down here. This is a big area, so we should be okay, but that's my one complaint with this game, is why does the enemies die when you like got one zombie alive? Maybe they just don't like you training the last zombie, it seems like. It's every time. You try and, you know, keep one guy alive, you try and do your tasks, and then he just dies eventually. It's so annoying. And the other pod is up here. Shoot this one. There we go. So now I gotta acquire all chamber keys to open the central chamber. All right, so let's see if there's one up here. So maybe if I keep two zombies alive, we shouldn't end the round. That one's now done. Shoot the radio targets in sequence shown on the machine. The red, green, and blue. Oh, so I have to shoot. Okay, we're gonna kill these zombies because there's no way of me doing this Easter egg step while they're all here. So red, green, and blue. Let's quickly shoot this. Red, green, and blue. 
There we go. So that's now done. Oh, we're gonna go on this side. Okay, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> trying to do this step. We've got a bunch of zombies. I should have just kept two alive. But we're now training up here. So this is now our new spot. Yeah, so this is a lot better run than last time. I'm glad I chose the second attempt. Okay, so now we've got two zombies that, you know, shoot lasers at me. I think... I'm going to have a look around the map. I just want to find pack a punch That leads me not to pack a punch Okay, I thought this area could lead me somewhere. I think I need to acquire all chamber keys for the central chamber, and then that will give me pack a punch I think that's the way this game's going, unfortunately. So I'll have to shoot these sequences. So red, green, blue. Let's see if we got this. Red, green, blue. That's now done. Then I'm going on this side. Oh, wait, I see the sequence on this side. Blue, red, green. Oh, that's how this works. So it's basically on the sequence of each section that you're on. Okay, that makes more sense. So blue, if I can shoot, red, green. There we go. And now they're on this side, green, blue, and red. There we go. Now we acquire this key, take that. So now that's just one out of four, so we'll keep going. Maybe this one's a little bit easier. What does this do? Eliminate speed freaks and collect the tickets machines. Oh, great. Just gotta kill these guys. Uh, ticket machines, see what- I'm just- yeah, I'm dead. I'm gonna revive myself, but this task sucks. I'm gonna run out of here. I somehow still keep my perk, but I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Yeah, they're gonna kill me. Uh, use my ability. No, that's not gonna work either. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> there we go. If only I had Pack-A-Punch, I would have been able to do that because my weapon wasn't doing that much damage. So that's the only problem with that. We'd survive 26 minutes and 10 rounds. So the question still lies, is it harder than Call of Duty? Well, it's definitely harder than Cold War. I will say there's aspects that make it easier. Like earlier when I got trapped in that corner, I was able to actually get out of that situation. Whereas if I was playing COD, I would have died there. But realistically, yeah, I think it's a lot harder in this mode, mainly because every Thing costs more so it takes a while to set up you only have one life token whereas in card you can buy quick revives i think the limit for that is three uses only but still that's more than just one in this mode the zombies can also teleport and also shoot back at you so it makes training a lot harder and also don't forget the fact that for some reason it seems like the zombies always die when you try and keep one alive so you have to instead try and keep two alive plus i can't even make crawlers in this game so trying to train two zombies and no crawlers that's another factor that I believe this game's a lot harder than COD. But you know what? Let me know what you guys think. If you want to see what it was like when I first played this game, there should be a video on the side here. But anyways, yeah, that was Nightmare Mode in Scare Ritual.